Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a reverse decoupage on glass with a mirror effect. So let's start what we need for this project. We need a piece of glass and we need some stencils of your choice, two of them preferably. We need a couple of paints, definitely we will need the white one and we need some dark kind of brown shades i made my own mixtures and a little bit of um, metallic paints we also need decoupage glue and a soft flat brush to go with it uh, we need a bit of a sponge just a kitchen sponge will do and a little bit of antique patina but if you don't have it you can use just brown paint and of course we need a mirror effect spray for glass and a napkin of our choice a napkin or piece of rice paper I'm gonna use this piece of napkin and you need just the top layer of course now because this is a reverse decoupage what you have to remember is that we start in a reverse order so what would be normally the last step has to be done first so if you look at this one we would like to have a little bit of that aging effect with a little sprinkle dark dots and a bit of aging in the corners especially how do we do this um, we'll start with the bristle spraying and again you can use a liquid bitumen or you can use some brown dark acrylic paint we use a small brush put a little bit on the brush and then using your finger just do a bit of bristle spraying kind of like all over the, the the glass um not too much naturally just a little bit is is enough and then there goes the brush now the next thing um because as you can see this napkin has a little bit of blue and pink actually you can place the napkin underneath so it will give you some idea what we want and where um, because it has a little bit of blue and pink I decided to use a little bit of blue and pink metallic paste for a little bit of similar effect so we'll take a little bit of both of them just a small drop really of both colors and again the same technique as we did with the dark bitumen or dark paint you get your little brush you put a little bit of the paint and again bristle spraying in some fragments mostly like near that part of the napkin where that color actually is and maybe a little bit in the corner for the contrast it's blue and now we can do the same with with the pink one there we go a little bit of pink mostly here uh, and a bit here and that's that's all that's like um the first step that we have done and now we need to wait for it to dry or alternatively you can use the hair dryer You can test with your fingers 
if it's dry already. Shouldn't take too long. Now that's good. Of course, on the beautiful day like today, it could dry naturally very fast, but just to make it even faster we'll just be using a little bit of the hair dryer so we have that sprinkling uh, spraying a little bit of effect the next part is that we would like to have a bit of that type of an um, aging effect especially in the corners and in order to do it i'm using that antique patina this is from stamperia and a little bit of a sponge so you maybe I'll use a bit of a new sponge for this now so you take a piece of sponge you put a little bit on the sponge and just delicately dab it a little bit in the corners not too much just a bit so it would look like that old mirror if you look at those old mirrors and sometimes they have those old spots like dark yeah just do it around the edges mostly in the corners and then for contrast maybe a little bit in some other places just you know just a little bit of it i think that's that's enough now the next step will be applying some stencils and as you can see for this one I used two types of stencils one with one type of color going here and the other a little bit in the corner and for this one actually I used two colors and I think I'll do the same now as well so again we will need a bit of sponge and the paint, acrylic paint and the stencil. Um, let me see which one will I use. Um, I have this one lost and so maybe I'll use this one at the bottom. Now you don't have to do the stencil completely because we want to have that old look so just take a little bit of the first paint I can actually move it a little bit maybe here and that's more or less where we want it so we put the stencil here and we go with the sponge just a little bit over not all the way and because I'd like to mix a little bit of the other color as well so just maybe like this and then the other color and you can use still the same sponge no problem if the colors are similar even if they mix a little bit it's just even better and again just down a little bit try to keep the stencil in place maybe a little bit here that should be okay now remove the stencil and there it is and now we're gonna use the second stencil for a bit of a contrast somewhere in the corner um, so maybe we will use um, this color and just a, a little bit of it in the corner. Just again, just a bit. Doesn't have to be complete. Just a bit of here and there, and that's it. That that would be enough maybe one little pattern on that side you don't want really too much of it 
and I would say that that's enough. Okay, we can remove the stencil so we have this part done. And um, again, we have to wait till it dries a bit. So in that case, we're gonna dry it with the hair dryer a little bit again. Just a moment. Again, we can do a little bit more of that uh, spraying thing, and we can use as in this one. You can see as well that I used a little bit of that platinum gold um, effect here. Now you can use the paint, but because I didn't have the paint in exactly that kind of a color. I had a structure paste, so you can also use a structure paste. It's a beautiful platinum, light gold, like white gold color. And again, we need a little bit of a sponge, just a normal kitchen sponge. Apply a little bit of it, just kind of delicately in some places not too much just a little bit we want a little bit of golden effect here and there no, not too much no. now that should be okay here and maybe we'll do a little bit more of that now Try again. This one is also dry, so is the paste. pretty fast now once everything is dry now we have to apply our napkin so we take a piece of napkin or rice paper if you prefer working with rice paper we place it the face down and just for the nicer effect don't cut the napkin by just tear the edges of it. Now we need a bit of decoupage glue and a brush. Um, it's important that the brush is really soft and fat, flat and also with that size of a napkin um, you should start applying the glue from the middle of it and delicately going towards the edges. If you need you can Kind of stretch the napkin a little bit with your fingers. This is just to avoid all those creases that naturally we don't really want. It's never gonna be that smooth. Um, I prefer for this type of project I used a piece of napkin from that vintage collection from Sagan. I like that black and white colors uh, with a little bit of sepia in some of them and maybe a delicate color that goes with them. But um, this is your project, so if you prefer something more colorful, of course you can 
go with more colorful. I just would fit for that kind of an old vintage mirror. It would be nice to go with something very simple and basically kind of like black and white. Now remember not to put not too much glue in one go because then it can destroy the napkin. You don't have to be that careful with the rice paper naturally, but with the napkins it's always a little bit tricky. So just try to smooth it as much as you can. Yeah, we still have a little bit of creases, but all right, we have to deal with it. It's an old vintage looking project. Anyway, okay, we're done with this. And again, we have to dry it. Actually, the best is just to leave it dry in its own speed. But okay. now, what we need now is a little bit of white paint for the background. Why do we need white paint? Just to make that image visible. Otherwise, it would blend in too much into the background, and you wouldn't really see a thing. So, a little bit of white paint it can be acrylic paint. The motion doesn't have to be perfectly white if you have the one with a little bit of a um, cream or gray tint that's okay as well and now we cover the back of the napkin um, you don't have to go totally on it because we want a little bit of that if you look here you want to see a little bit maybe the background going through so if you have tiny little spots like here it's okay or this one it's okay you can always check by turning over the glass which I will do in a moment okay so we do the yeah, let's see what the effect is. Yeah, looks good enough. Uh, we may want a little bit maybe of white, a little bit, a little bit behind, beyond the, the napkin edge. And a little bit more here. Okay, that's fine. Now you can see a little bit of that white going beyond the edge of the napkin, which is nice. And again, drying. There is a little bit of drying in this project involved, but yeah, that's what we have to do. I really love about those paints from Cadence. This is hybrid acrylic paint, which is absolutely fantastic paint. You can apply it to every kind of a surface and it dries practically instantly. Okay, so we have this. So now the main effect and the main component that we have to use is the mirror effect spray. Now this is the spray, which is specially for glass. Again, I'm using Cadence, but there is also Pentart and there are a few other companies that make them. 
make sure that you shake it well before applying. Uh, we'll be spraying it over but not totally and again you can see that some of the spots are that it's not totally covered like here but it leaves a little bit of um, background going through and that's achieved by painting it later with a darker color so we're gonna do this now the one nasty kind of thing about those mirror effect sprays that they do tend to smell a little bit so if you're doing it inside make sure you have the window open because it can be a little bit annoying the smell okay so shake it and now we spray there is not so much need to spray all over the um, the central piece where the napkin went because you won't see it anyway so just like this then yeah that's that's enough and important thing is also if you use that mirror spray or any spray but you do have some cover underneath and not don't work directly on your desk or your table because that's what happens that it <laughs> it just goes all over around now we need to dry it again a little bit that we will be doing this is what it looks like at the moment the last thing that we are doing is again use some dark paint it can be dark brown can be black I'm gonna use those mixtures that I had and apply with the sponge just go all over the the whole glass now um, you can use the brush if you prefer but I just feel more comfortable with using sponges and you make sure that it covers all the places what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this color for most of the glass and the other one in some other places maybe but it can be just one one dark base uh, why do we need this um, well you could do light color like white then you would have really like a mirror mirror effect but if we put the black the dark one we still get a little bit of that old look that it looks that the mirror is really like ancient you know? so that's basically the only reason for doing this it does protect a bit the glass as well we need some kind of a background for it later anyway i use those frames that glass comes from the frame so you just have a frame with the clips later to put it in now that's this color and maybe I will set this up the other one for the remaining part of the glass just make sure that you have all the spots covered with it and If it was a very big piece of glass and you feel that that would be too much for you or that sponging you can just use the spray paint or a big brush and just go with the brush all right that's that should be okay so 
so let's have a look at our effect oops there we go and that's basically what we have um, so the only thing that you have to do is to dry the back of it Basically, that's it, and our mirror is ready. Uh, you can see a little bit of a difference between those two. You can see that with this one that we were making now, I used a bit more of that mirror spray, so you don't have so much of that dark coming through. Um, I guess it's never gonna look exactly the same. But that's up to you. Just um, yeah, be careful while using this spray. It it dries pretty fast, and yeah, and you have to make sure that you know where exactly you want it to go. So that's all for today, and I hope you found that little tutorial useful and inspiring you to make something similar. Thank you. Thank you.